So a lot of you guys have seen my recently upgraded dream setup. This is currently my happy place, my escape from reality, if you will. This is where I spend about 80% of my time, so you can bet your ass that I take my setup very seriously. I haven't made any huge changes since the last upgrade. I did pick up a new mouse pad, which looks so much cleaner than before and added a mechanical numpad that I featured in the last cool tech video. But apart from that, the biggest upgrade I have done was the addition of the loop deck, which is now permanently a part of my setup moving forward. It may be a very small device, but it's a huge upgrade in the sense that it's completely changed the way I use my setup. And I feel like a lot of you guys watching this video might find this useful or pretty cool for your own setup. Otherwise, I wouldn't even bother making this video. I do want to start off and say that Loop Deck is not paying me to say anything positive about their product, nor do they have any say in how I shoot this video. Everything in this video is based on my personal experience with the Loop Deck this past week. So to start off, I guess we should talk about what this actually is. So the unit that I'm using is called the Loop Deck Live, and it's basically a fully customizable console with built-in buttons, knobs, and an LED touchscreen. It's basically an Elgato Stream Deck on steroids, and you'll see what I'm talking about in a bit. I do want to start off and say the build quality is nice. It's got this super sleek and aluminum body that doesn't take up much space on your desk, and it even comes with a stand to tilt the device if you want. One thing I would have loved to see is a longer cable. Unfortunately, the USB-C cable it comes with is too short, so I was forced to use an extension cable. That way it can reach the back of my PC on the opposite side of the desk. I'm sure you guys have seen this coming a mile away, but I'm gonna take this apart and spray paint it in white. That way it matches my setup's colors. And I'll be posting the, uh, the updates on my Twitter and Instagram accounts, so make sure to follow me. The setup process is really easy. You just plug the loop deck in your PC and download and install the software. Afterwards, you can completely customize what each knob, button, and touchscreen does. At first, it was very intimidating for me. I'm not gonna lie. I was lost for like an hour trying to figure out what the hell I'm even doing. But once I figured out how to add stuff on there, everything else became easy naturally. There's one little hiccup I ran into while using the loop deck, and this started happening two days ago. So this is how the buttons should sound like on the bottom. This is how the first button sounds like. It kind of feels like there's something stuck in between the button and the bottom of the PCB where it's making that noise. It still works, but it's still something worth noting. I did talk to LoopDeck about this and they've actually never had this issue before, so they're gonna be sending me a new unit, but I was just very unlucky, unfortunately. LoopDeck was also kind enough to send in three extra units for a giveaway, so make sure to stick around till the end of the video. All right, so I'm not gonna go through every single thing that you can do on the Loop Deck, otherwise this video will be over 10 hours long. So I'm just gonna show you guys uh, some of the more common things that I use on a daily basis. So this is the homepage of the Loop Deck that I set up. I pretty much have all the apps that I use often. We have a few of my games on here. I currently play Modern Warfare and Division 2, so those are the only two games I uh, put on the homepage. And we also have a few other miscellaneous apps that I use from time to time, like WordPad, Calculator, and so on. So if I ever want to launch any of these programs, I just simply tap on it. Loop Deck has this Taptic Engine feedback built in, kind of like the new iPhones, where it kind of vibrates a little bit when you press something, letting you know that it registered your finger press. So that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna launch a few programs here. We're gonna start off with Calculator, then we got Notepad and WordPad. As you guys can see, pretty much launches the applications instantaneously, which is what I love about this Loop Deck. There is no lag or delay between launching the applications. I even set up a macro for the screenshot, which is something I use every single day. So instead of pressing down the shift key, the windows button and holding S on my keyboard, I actually macroed it on the loop deck. So all I gotta do is press the screenshot and then I can screenshot whatever I want on the screen. Pretty cool. Oh, and check this out. You can even put a numpad in the loop deck. So I put this icon over here on the homepage. I just click on it and the loop deck becomes a numpad. Pretty cool feature, pretty useful feature to have around actually. It kind of eliminates the need of me using my, uh, my mechanical numpad on the desk. So that's pretty cool. This button over here on the bottom left is a back button. So if I want to go back to the previous page, I just hit that. Speaking of buttons, you can even customize each of these seven buttons down here to do whatever you want. But in my case, I just assign each number to a separate page of the loop deck. So this would be page one, for example. If I wanna to go to page two, I just press on the two button. And here I have other apps that I use also on a constant basis. We got Vegas Pro, which is my editing program. We got Discord, Streamlabs, and even a hip hop playlist for my Spotify, which I'm still adding music to. 
Also, these knobs over here on the sides can be customized to control things that require dialed movement. So, you know, controlling volume, for example, is a very popular one. As you guys can see here, I do have the top left knob that controls the volume of my speakers, for example. Also, each knob gets its very own LED screen right next to it to kind of help you identify what the knob does. But my only issue with this is because of how narrow the screen is, some of my other macros, as you can see here, kind of get cut off because of how long the text is. Now here's where the loop deck gets awesome, you guys. You can create individual profiles for specific programs that you use. And they even have a set already preloaded in the software. We got After Effects, Illustrator, OBS Studio, Photoshop, and more. Unfortunately, they didn't have Vegas Pro, which is the editing program that I use. So I had to download it from their website, but I wasn't a fan of their preloaded settings. So I kind of made my own over here. Now, if you guys turn on dynamic mode, then the profile on the loop deck will switch over to whatever profile of the application that you're using. So for example, if I launch Vegas Pro, you can see the loop deck switch over to the Vegas profile that I created. And now we have an entirely new set of shortcuts and macros. So adding stuff to the loop deck is stupid easy. Everything is practically drag and drop. There is nothing difficult about it. Like if I can do it, so can your mother. You can add any function you want to your loop deck just by looking through this menu over here on the left side. And there's even a search bar up top to make it easy for you guys to find it. So let's say I wanna skip my music. I'm gonna look for next track. So here it is, media next track under system. All I gotta do is drag this to any available slot and you're done. That's literally how easy it is. Now obviously you're gonna be making a lot of custom macros or shortcuts that are not available in the system. So all you gotta do is go down to the custom section. And as you guys can see, I do have a list of custom stuff that I already made with the loop deck. All you gotta do is click on the plus sign next to custom and set whatever command or shortcut you want. So for example, if you wanna set up the macro, that's it, hit the check mark. Let's just call this macro one. There it is, literally less than five seconds. You can also do other things, not just macros. You can set up shortcuts, you can do uh, run specific commands, you can even do text, for example. I love text source so much. He's my only bay source tech. I'm gonna hit the check mark to save this. Here it is, source tech. Now, if I go back to here, open up my notepad, check this out, source tech. <laughs> that was hella cringe, but you guys get the idea of what I'm trying to show. So pretty cool. So this is kind of where I fell in love with the loop deck. Um, it has made my editing sessions so much easier. I was able to set shortcuts and macros to the knobs over here and even some on the touch panel. And I'll show you exactly what I did. So for example, the second knob over here adjusts the, uh, the volume of the timeline all at the same time or I can split it and adjust the volume of a specific clip if I want. The bottom knob over here actually pans the entire timeline from left to right. That's not something I could do with my mouse, unfortunately. And the top right knob pretty much expands and retracts the timeline, which is something I use every single time, especially if I have a lot of timelines that are stacked on each other like you see here. Color grading is also something that I do often in my videos. I tend to shoot on a more natural uh, color profile on my Sony Alpha camera, so the fact that I have color grading macroed on here is amazing. So all I gotta do is tap on it, and the entire suite of color grading pretty much just pops up right in my face, which is amazing. Got my color curve graph over here, so if I wanna add a bit of brightness and uh, contrast as well, and I can even use the knob to adjust any of the, um, the wheels from here, which is pretty convenient. The loop deck is also really useful for streamers. You can easily set up macros or shortcuts to specific things in OBS or Streamlabs. For example, you can control the volume separately from all of your devices, desktop, microphone, Spotify, literally anything you want. You can start or end the stream through here as well. You can switch to any scene you want. You can add custom text on here that you can send straight to the Twitch chat by simply touching the icon. I mean, the possibilities are endless really. Overall, I really enjoyed my time with the loop deck. It just feels like it increased my efficiency, not only in editing, but just my overall workflow as well. And when I do start streaming on Twitch, 
eventually I know it's going to be very, very useful there as well. But anyways, that is it for the video. As always, I'll drop a link to the loop deck down below if you guys want to check it out. And there'll also be a discount code if you guys want to get 10% off your purchase. As I mentioned earlier in the video, there will be three units given away to three lucky subscribers. Two of them will be done on my Discord server and one of them will be done right here on this YouTube video. So if you're interested in winning one of these, all you gotta do is comment down below and let me know what is your favorite feature of the Loop Deck Live. I will pick one random comment at the end of the week and announce it on my Twitter page, so make sure you guys follow me there. And we'll also be hosting a separate event on our Discord server to give out two additional units of the Loop Deck Live. Links to all of that, of course, will be linked down below. This is a global giveaway, by the way, so it doesn't matter where you live, I will cover shipping. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you very soon in the next one.